Are you planning to buy a new graphics card in 2023? Before you invest your hard-earned money in an 8GB or 10GB card like the RTX 3060 Ti, 3070, 3070 Ti or 3080, watch this video. I will reveal why these graphics cards might not be the best choice even for 1080p gaming, and how upcoming games could leave you frustrated with your purchase. Stick around to find out what you should be looking for in your next graphics card upgrade. But first a quick word about the sponsor. CDKeyOffer.com is my number one choice for when I need to buy a cheap Microsoft software key. They are a reliable provider of affordable keys to me, my friends and the channel community for over two years now, so highly recommend it. Use my discount code IVADIM to get 30% off an already amazing price and grab yourself a Windows 10 Pro for $16, Windows 11 Pro for $23 or Office 2021 for just $52. You can use PayPal for fast and secure payment and get your key instantly. Links to all these products are in the description below. Now back to our topic. Even now, 8GB of video memory is not enough to run some of the most popular AAA games of 2023 using the highest texture quality even at 1080p resolution. So this is not some, oh, it may happen sometime in the future kind of problem. It is already here. And it is ridiculous considering the fact that the RTX 3070 Ti, for example, has a very powerful GPU capable of running any of these games at very high frame rates, even at 1440p. However, it cannot, due to the fact that 8GB of memory is simply not enough to store all the textures and effects that make your game look good. You will have a very unpleasant gaming experience if you choose to buy an 8GB graphics card, because the lack of memory will cause performance and stability issues, stuttering and textures popping in and out in some of the most popular games of 2023. Let's have a look at some examples. Hogwarts Legacy requires more than 8GB of memory to run even at 1080p with textures quality set to ultra. The lack of video memory causes severe stability and image quality issues such as textures constantly popping in and out of existence, as well as occasional stuttering. As you can see on the right side of the screen, graphics cards with higher memory capacity, such as the RX 6800 with 16GB of memory, do not have such issues and work perfectly fine. In Resident Evil 4, using the maximum quality textures, 8GB cards experience severe stuttering due to the lack of memory, and the game will crash completely if you try loading the memory even more by enabling ray tracing. And this is at 1080p resolution, forget about playing this game at 1440p. In The Last of Us Part 1, a 16GB graphics card such as the RX 6800 can deliver a pleasant gaming experience even at 1440p using ultra-quality textures. But the 8GB RTX 3070 cannot run this game even at 1080p resolution. You will experience extreme stuttering and will be forced to reduce the texture quality to high at 1080p or medium at 1440p if you want to play this game. If you like enabling ray tracing, then you can add three more to the list of games you won't be able to play with an 8GB graphics card. Those are Forspoken, A Plague Tale Requiem and The Callisto Protocol. The Callisto Protocol is the perfect example of how graphics cards like the RTX 3070 and 3070 Ti would run this game absolutely fine with ray tracing enabled even at 1440p if they had 16GB of memory. Check out the Radeon RX 6800 on the right. It delivers a pleasant gaming experience even though Nvidia RTX 30 series cards have better ray tracing performance. Well, at least on paper, when we don't throw them into a scenario like this one, where that RTX superiority doesn't mean anything simply because Nvidia graphics cards don't have enough memory to make use of that GPU performance. Some people argue that it is normal to have to turn down some settings when using an older graphics card. But RTX 3070 Ti as well as other RTX 30 series cards are still quite expensive. The 3070 Ti still sells for well above $500 for some bizarre reason. Personally, I don't think you should be expected to make such compromises, especially when there are much cheaper alternatives such as the RTX 3060 with 12GB of memory or more powerful alternatives from AMD's RX 6000 series. 
or even the RTX 4070 with 12GB for that matter. The RTX 3080 with 10GB of memory does not have much shelf life left either. Games that require higher memory capacity will continue coming out this year, the next, and the one after that. There is no going back. Game developers cannot fit all the beautiful textures and effects into an 8GB or 10GB buffer. Do we want better looking games? Then we need graphics cards with more memory to play them. The conclusion is, don't buy 8 or 10 gigabyte graphics cards, or you won't be able to enjoy some of the biggest current as well as upcoming games in all of their ultra textures quality glory. I recommend you seek alternatives with at least 12 gigabytes of memory for 1080p gaming and preferably 16 gigabytes if you play at 1440p resolution. For 1440p, 12GB is the bare minimum, which is fine for now, but it may not be enough in a few years when more advanced next-gen games hit the market. Poor game optimization is not the big issue here, as some may claim. Nvidia's bad GPU design decisions are. It could be planned obsolescence. But I think Nvidia simply lost interest in selling GPUs to gamers in the recent years. During the past few years, Nvidia knew that cryptocurrency miners will buy all the 8GB graphics cards. And now the company is focusing on the booming AI market. Gamers come last, after the AI and data center clients. Because that is where the real money is made. Profit margins are huge on data center products. Even Nvidia's Halo consumer grade product, the RTX 4090, does not get close to the kind of margins the company is making selling to the data center clients. Check this out. Billionaire Elon Musk buys 10,000 Nvidia GPUs for an AI project. Yeah, that is the kind of clients Nvidia is focused on right now. That and whoever buys the RTX 4090s and 4080s at high prices. Everyone else matters little. As for the graphics cards, I do recommend you can find them at the links in the description below. Those are the RX 6700 XT or above, the RTX 3060, which is pretty good for 1080p, the RTX 4070, which is an okay choice, and hopefully AMD will come out with more RX 7000 series options for under $700 in the next few months. I will add those as well as and when they become available. If this video was helpful, then give it a like and subscribe for more content like this if you haven't already. It was I, Vadim, until next time.